We have, Ali, we have found one of your favorite little creatures. It is, of course. Oh, I just heard something. It's birds also in the grass. We are looking at dwarf mongoose, a whole family of them. Aren't they so precious? They are just getting ready to go to sleep now, though. Look at those little ones. There's two of them. They are so small. The one at the top left is quite funny, too. It was biting its feet just a moment ago. Perhaps it was a little grassy something stuck in between the pads of its feet because that sometimes happens but the sun is slowly starting to disappear you can starting to disappear you can see the last bit of golden light is just there where they have a little midden that's where they use the luxury facilities oh we have a demonstration this afternoon too how fantastic you are well trained you get 10 out of 10 for that very well done <laughs> not a little mongoose that's an adult mongoose that's, um, I'm just going to turn my radio down, sorry. Just having a quick groom, enjoying the golden light, one last bit of interactivity between one another before they actually decide to go back to bed. And there's a few more little ones down on the ground, right at the base of the mound. You might see just to the little bit to the right. There they are. There's another little one following an adult around. Wee! Very quick, zipping up that mound. Are you going to go into that little burrow? Maybe. They are so precious. Now, I love little mongoose, and we actually haven't had any spectacular sightings over the last uh, couple of weeks. It's been quite quiet with the mongoose, but I'm glad that they're back. Oh, you see them cower a little bit there, just because if you have a look just above them, look at the magpie shrike, just up and to the left from where they are. Look at that. So how amazing is this? little relationship that they have now machine gun nest you say they're just going about their business they are indeed and they're going about their business now with a magpie shrike and it's not actually uncommon to see uh, relationships between birds and mammals we see it with a number of different ones for example the most iconic in a sort of symbiotic relationship has to be with the ox peckers with the various mammal species acting as their personal grooming service now the magpie shrike is not doing that it's just hoping that as the mongoose move around in the grass, like what we saw with the Inyala and the virtual starlings, they'll also kick up insects and they'll hope that, the, or the magpie shrikes will hope that they get the insect before the mongoose does, because that's what they're feeding on. They feed on little invertebrates. But look at that, they have very little light on their mound now, so they won't be getting warmth. They might be absorbing some of the, the warmth from the mound itself, but it will be nice and toasty inside there. Look at them, all, all grooming each other. And because they're so social, it is very important that they're constantly reassuring the bonds between one another, so grooming is the perfect is the perfect way to do so. Ah, oh, Beard, we haven't heard from you in a while. It's great to hear. Uh, well, it's great to hear your name again. You've said that uh, you love just watching these little guys. They are, it's, it's great. Now, there's a bird that's shouting about, and you can see it's definitely got one of the adult's attention as it keeps looking around, the one on the left, looking up. It jumped up a little bit higher. Just making sure. So that even though they are grooming each other and their day is about to come to an end when they'll go back inside, they've got to be careful because it's still a perfect opportunity for a small raptor of some sort to come swooping down and snatch one of those bundles of joy up. And that would be terrible for us to see because they are, they are very cute animals, these guys. Look at them, they're so small. And the smallest little carnivore that we have out here. But they're very entertaining, don't you think? You can really just sit here and watch, watch them. And one of the most amazing things to do is to actually go and perch yourself right down below that mound. I like to do it first thing in the morning and then they're often when they become relaxed, they'll just come and walk around you. They won't really touch you, but they become quite curious. Well, the magpie sharks are loving the mongoose this afternoon. There were a whole lot of them. Uh, laying around in this area. 